Hey everyone, welcome to the analytical coding. In today's video, we are going to learn about active and inactive relationships. So let's get started. So we are having sales and customer tables. So let us see what is the data in this. So in sales table, I am having sales ID, customer ID and sold by. So which sales representative has sold this particular product? and sales amount so this is the data we are having in sales table and coming to customer table i am having customer id customer type and sales representative id and sales representative type so this is the data we are having now so in these two tables so as we already know that relationships in power bi connect tables allowing them to interact with each other so these relationships determine how filters and calculations work across the tables. So coming here, we are having customer ID and customer ID in the customer table. I am going to connect these two. Now when we connect, here we are having an option called make this relationship active. So what is this? So it is the main connection Power BI uses by default to filter the data between two tables. So let me click on save. So we can see that there is a solid line. So it is represented as a solid line in model view and there can only be one active relationship between two tables at a time. Now in the report view, I want to make a visualization or a table where I want to show that for each customer type total sales amount so for that this relationship is created and i also want to know so for each sales representative type so what is the total sales amount so for that i need the relation between these two tables that is sales representative id and sold by that is i have to drag these two but as we already know that so we can only have one active relationship between two tables which we have created for the customer id right so if in order to create the relation between sales representative id so we should not make this relationship active if i make this active you can see there is an error here so there are ambiguous paths between sales and customer table because we have already created one active relationship, so we cannot create another active one. So for that, I am unchecking that. So which means it creates an inactive relationship. So what is inactive relationship? So inactive relationship is a secondary connection between two tables and it is represented as a dashed line. So which we can see here, right? So Inactive relationships are not used by default in the calculations. We need to manually activate them in DAX formulas. So I have explained that in active relationship and inactive relationships. So what is meant by using by default in calculations? So let us see it clearly. Let me go back to the port view and add a table. And here in this table, I am going to click on the customer ID, customer type and from this sales table, sales amount. Okay. So this is sum of sales amount. Let me remove this customer ID. Now for each customer type, we are seeing the sum of sales amount. We are having the active relationship between these two tables by customer ID. Right. You have remembered that. Let me add another table, so which shows total sales amount for the sales representative type. So for that, I am adding this sales representative and also sum of sales amount. So here I am getting the sum of sales amount, but it is not the correct one because this is generated by the relationship customer ID, but that's not the correct one. I need the relationship to be sales ID based on the sales ID. So based on that sales ID relationship, 
I need to calculate the sales amount. So how can I make that inactive relationship to be active? So I cannot directly make that active in the model view because it does not accept that kind of two active relationship between the same two tables. So for that, we are creating a measure. So you can see here. So we will discuss about measure and DAX functions in our next videos. So here you can take it as a just example where I am calculating the sum of sales amount and I am using the function use relationship. So this use relationship makes the inactive relationship to be active temporarily for this calculation only. So this relationship we have to provide which relationship we need to act to temporarily that is sales sold by and customer sales representative id so to activate the relation between these two for this particular calculation and i need to calculate the sum of sales amount so this is the measure i have created and i am going to add this measure in this table so let me click on and you can clearly see the difference here here also we have created sum of sales amount and this measure is also sales amount but you can see that there is a difference because this is calculated based on the customer id relationship that is the active one and this is calculated based on the inactive relationship which is temporarily activated so we can use these relationships active and inactive to make the correct calculations so let me click on the transform data where I have joined these two tables based on customer ID and also based on the sales ID so that you can clearly understand what I am explaining in this active and inactive relationship. So I have already discussed about joins in my previous videos. If you have any doubt regarding joins, please do watch that video. And here in these tables, I have joined sales and customer based on customer ID. Okay. Here you can see that these two tables are joined based on the customer ID. And when these two tables are joined based on customer ID, you can see that let us count the sales representative type when we join based on the customer ID. So permanent 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Contract 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now. Here in this query, I have joined based on the sales ID. You can see that based on sales representative ID. Now click on OK. Here you can see the count of permanent and contract. Here permanent is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Whereas contract is again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But when we observe it in the customer ID based table, it is different. Right, so this is the difference between using which column to be used in the relationship. So by default, whenever we are calculating the total sales, the total sales are calculated based on the active relation. And if we need to calculate the total sales based on the inactive relationship, we need to use the DAX formula that is use relationship. Okay. This is the clear explanation of the active and inactive relationships. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel.